What's up everybody? Pal702, back today with another mechanical squonk mod review. So today we have the Onimaru, which is a mechanical squonk mod from Mod Brothers. Mod Brothers, the same company that I did a review for, I don't know, probably like two months ago on a mechanical squonker called the Katana. I'll leave a link for that at the end of this review. The Katana was an 18650 3D printed mechanical squonker. This guy right here, it's like it's big brother on tons of steroids. So what we can do right about now is we're gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around the Onimaru. We're gonna throw a build in this guy, something that allows me to get punched in the lungs like a dual coil. I mean, these things hit hard, so we're gonna definitely build a dual coil. 22 millimeter though. Listen to some, uh, some butthole surfers. You guys are in for a treat on that one. Pop back up, pros and cons, you know how we do it. And today we have the Mod Brothers. Onimaru, onagashimasu. Kore wa totemo kirei. Yosh. So yeah, you're gonna get your Mod Brothers Onimaru inside of this pouch right here. I'm just gonna move this to the side for right now. You will get one card right here, which is your Mod Brothers card. And you will have social media on the back. So you will get a shitload of battery wraps. I actually use the black one, but these are for 21700s. And he even gives you a clear one so you can make it look like your battery's not wrapped and like scare the shit out of your friends. You have a cap for the squonk bottle. And then this bag right here, which says Lakeside Craftsman, the doors that are on this squonker, they'll come in here. This is the company that Mod Brothers is using to do their stab wood doors if you choose to get them. And here she is. This is the Mod Brothers Onimaru 21700 fully mechanical squonker. You can see those beautiful stab wood doors right there and a stab wood button to match. All of this will be PA12 3D printed and another stab wood door on the back right here. And this will be an exposed battery squonker. Uh, for some of you that might be a con, for me I don't really care, especially when you have battery wraps because you can totally match this thing out. There, there is a wall right there though. And then you can also get a shot of your .999 silver contacts. These will be 22 gauge. And there's your other one right there. So up top, you will have, this is the Reset SVF 510. Now, from what I was able to gather, first of all, SVF, if you don't know, SVF makes badass 510s. You know, they were on the plugs and all that stuff like that. Uh, one of the best 510s out there. I think like the dudes like split and then one of the dudes started like his own thing and this is the SVF reset and there is uh, there's one glaring difference and that is this surface right here is totally smooth the old SVF here it is on the mums switch or switcher I can't remember if it's the switch or the switcher you could see the difference this is an SVF right here this is the upgraded SVF reset. So there's no engravings or anything like that. A lot of this were, a lot of these were like for old school, some of the older school atomizers and shit like that. You needed these. It actually drew air from the bottom. But um, in my opinion, this guy right here is just sexy as fuck. And as far as underneath, how it works, the adjustments and stuff like that. Um, they're pretty much identical. The main difference is gonna be that top right there. So, to the stab wood doors. Let's pop these guys out. So we have the Lakeside Craftsman Mod Brothers stab wood doors right here. This will be your front. 
has a nice squonk window right there, a little bit of beveling on the edges, Mod Brothers engraved right here, and then this is the back. Both, both doors will have two magnets, so on your back, on your back door, boom, boom. On your front door, boom, boom. Very nice doors right here. And just to show you, matching stabwood button. All right, so the doors are optional. Everything else that I'm about to show you is standard. You can just, the standard Onimaru comes with, you know, 3D printed doors, and then the actual internals, all of this stuff is going to be identical. There will not be a, obviously, a matching stabwood button. It'll just be a normal button. But inside you will see very nice internals. You have all of your silver right here, 0.99. And this is all 22 gauge. Pops out super easy. I was messing around cleaning it. You can probably see like, this looks much worse underneath this lens than it really is. But uh, I got a little carried away and I might have had something uh, a little abrasive in there. But who fuck cares? No one's gonna see that. Would you put the squonk bottle in? Like, you guys don't even know. I didn't even have to show you. I could have held it like this. So very nice silver contacts button. Very nice throw right there. Nice, easy throw. Now, this is gonna be silver going into this SVF reset. And right here, this is also silver plated. This is solid. There, there are no spring whatsoever. And what's so cool about these SVFs is they adjust from the bottom. So you don't have to adjust it from the top. You simply, if you want to adjust the actual height of your pin, you just do it with this wheel right here. And as you can see, I'm spinning it. So if you spin it to the left, it's going to lower the pin and you can see it threading down. And you spin it to the right, it's going to raise the pin so the best way to do this is just to spin it down, you know, pretty far. Put whatever Addy you have on there and say if you're going to run a beauty ring, make sure the beauty ring's on it too. Otherwise, if you set it without the beauty ring and you put the beauty ring on it, it's going to be too low. So put whatever Addy you want on there. Don't have your squonk bottle in here because it just makes it that much harder to adjust. And slowly just turn this thing to the right and it'll raise the pin and keep checking and as soon as you get contact you will have your correct height and something else is cool about this I mean not to me but maybe to some other people is it does actually have a safety feature so once you have this thing making connection with your atomizer uh, say you don't want to take your battery out or whatever but you want to put this thing in your pocket all you have to do is just back this wheel off like literally like a half a turn and when you go to make connection you're not going to be making connection with the bottom of your 510 on your RDA. So it's literally a safety. All you have to do is just like a quarter turn, half a turn. You are good to go. And then just a better look of that SVF reset. You know, everything, as they say on their website, bathed in silver. I love a good solid 510 assembly that's bathed in silver. And you got your nut right there, suck it up. And a little insulator right there. Very nice, very clean 510. I mean, this is right up there with the Mod Dog Nano V2 for me. I mean, this is, this 510 is super badass. And another bonus to this is, while I don't mind adjusting from the top, you know, it, it does make, you know, adjusting for your RDA much easier because you can just lower it all the way down, slap your RDA and your beauty ring on there, and then just keep cranking this thing up until it makes connection and then you have it instead of having to screw, you know, and then screw your RDA down and there's still a gap and then screw it off, screw it. You guys know what I'm talking about. So it does... Um, as far as convenience, it is definitely more convenient than anything from the top right there. And right there you'll see magnet, magnet for your door and magnet, magnet on the back 
And once again, this is all PA12. And this will, over time, you know, fade out a little bit. But the PA12, it's easy to re-dye. Like, if you ever, if you buy one of these and say, I don't know, a year from now, it starts to fade, hit up uh, Mod Bros, hit up, you know, just make a post. And there's a million different ways where you can dye these things to make them look brand new. I mean, they strip down so easy. I mean, you could pull this contact out and unscrew this 510 assembly in two minutes. And then, then you're good to go. The bottle it comes with, now last time it came with Veritube, this time it is an X-Star bottle. And I guess that was also to cut down on cost. And one of the things I love about them is they cut their cost on, on things that would primarily be racked up on appearance, you know, on certain materials. But as far as anything to do with performance, they go the full nine. I mean, they deck these things out. The base version of this comes with all of this badass shit in it. A very, very cheap price. 21,700 only in this. This bottle holds about eight milliliters of juice. You will have to cut it. And as far as your battery, this right here, this is a 21,730T rewrapped by me. That's why it looks so perfect. It's an amazing rewrap job right there. And in order, well, let's, let's just put this guy together. All right, let's see what she looks like. Back door. Flush. Flush. And then you have your 21700. And there are no indicators on here. I feel like his last one had like positive down on it or something. So I'm just going to do positive down. So positive down. And with your 21700 in securely, she is not going anywhere. Door not going to go anywhere. Back door. I mean, that's up to you. But that's it. That is her all squared away. 21700. It is the big brother of the Katana. All right, so just a quick comparison against the Katana. I've had this bad boy for yeah, over a year. Um, this thing has this thing has put in some serious work hours with me for sure. This was an 18650 only though. 21700 notice it did not have a back door on it it was just this front door like this and then you can see the huge upgrade on the actual 510s um, this i believe was a veritube i want to i want to say this was a veritube or no this was a veritube this was a mod maker i believe and then a look from up top you can see the difference in the the 510 I mean, it's it's pretty badass right there. That is it up against the 2700 Mechanical Purge Ultim Squonk. The 21700 Unregulated Recurve by Mikey Motherfucking Vapes. And finally, that is against the Vicious Ant Mechanical 21700 Spade. So very nice size on this, very clean. And I think today, in honor of hard hitting mechanical squonkers across the world, we are going to build this basic, not this basic, but I always call this a basic, this is a fucking armor, 1.0 dual coil, so we can get, you know, I'd like to get somewhere like around like a 0.15 to 0.12 on this guy and just let it rip. So in the meantime, hit it.
And that was some butthole surfers. One of my favorites. So this one of those guys all the time back in the day. But more importantly, that was the Mod Brothers. Onimaru, 21700 Mechanical Squonk, 0.9999999 Silver Contacts with a SVF Reset. Solid 510s, bathed in silver. We got uh, a wrapped 30T and the armor version 1.0 dual coil 22 millimeter fuse 28 core with a 36 on the outside stainless steel whoo let's take it for a rip i'm gonna need a squonk after that one whoo that fucker's hot you gotta clear it up Focus on. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do pros and cons. We're gonna start off with the cons, end with the pros, because around here, we always end on a positive note. Cons on the Mod Brothers Only Maru 21700 Mechanical Squonker. One con. Well, it's like two, but it really is one. The bottle's hard to get to. So, like, when you want to take this bottle out, you either have to We'll definitely leave your RDA on top. You have to kind of like squeeze it and pull it. And it's because there's no, there's no way to get your nail to take. If you could take this back door off, you could push the bottle out really easy. Just like a simple little cutout right there. So you can knock this back door off. And then, then it's, that's, that's all. That's all that I have. But it is something that I've noticed that with something like this, with, when anytime there's a squonk bottle that's hard to get out of a squonker, I just use the top, you know, the, these things, well, I don't have any of them, but you know, the refill thingies, those things, I use those. But if I were to put my two cents in on this mod, I would just put just the slightest little fingernail thing. So you could pop that open and then you could push. Cause once this is off, see, once the back door is off, then you have access to that squonk bottle and it's much easier to actually, I should have used, done it this way to put it in to put it in and to take it out. It's got that nice hole right there. It's just hard to get to because there's no real way to get to that back door. So that's my one and only con, and I'm sure that could be fixed easily. Even if it's not fixed, it's not that big of a deal because you literally can go like this, take this, and then you can just take a tool and push and this pops right open. So minor con, but you know, I gotta con it. Okay. Now pros. Pros on the Mod Bros Onimaru. Sugoi. Kore wa sugoi. Sugoi means wonderful. First pro. With, uh, as with all Mod Brothers squonkers, it hits hard as fuck. Like, this is one of the hardest hitting squonkers out there, period. That's why I run a 30T. That's why I got dual coils in here. Because this thing is a banger. Next pro, internals. From the 510 to the .999 silver contacts, they all come stock. It all comes stock, whether you get the, the um, plain Jane version or this hot rod edition right here with the stab wood panels. Uh, internals, the reset 510, which is the upgraded SVF. Killer 510 system, super easy to adjust to fit your atomizer so you can line up your airflow holes and shit like that. And then it's also kind of cool that you can back it off for a safety, so that's a pro. Um, pro on the 21700, I mean, everyone wants the 30T. This is a 30T and this is a small 30T, very small 30T. Next pro, doors. The fucking doors, the doors on this are just badass. The doors by this dude right here, Lakeside Craftsman. And you, like I said, if you have a Juma or whatever the fuck you want him to cut, he does doors. He does doors for for anything. Anything out there you're looking for doors for, this guy, he's in the Mod Brothers group. Just join the Mod Brothers group. I got one better for you. The next pro on this is gonna be the price. What will the Unimaru 
by Mod Brothers. Cost you. Well, <clears throat> Mod Brothers, so awesome. Shout out to Nick. They sent over this guy right here. Let's just get a little uh, close up on that. This is a hot rod, full edition, stab wood, stab button, dual stab wood panels, all the hot rod internals, all that stuff like that, which with all the upgrades runs $190. This motherfucker right here is going to be one of yours for free. Now, to get this mod, first of all, you would have to make it to this part of the video and not skip over shit. So all you guys that skipped over shit, well, that's what you get for skipping over shit. To get this here mod with this here pouch and all the extras that I showed you, all you need to do, you need to sign up for Mod Brothers Facebook group, which I'll leave a link right here. You need to sign up for these guys, and then you need to leave a comment on this video. This video will be posted in Mod Brothers. You need to leave a comment on that shit and just say you want it. Why you want it? Like, say, yo, saw this on Pal702's channel. I'm in. Or, you know what? You got to put hashtag well penis, all right? Leave a comment. Marjorie just corrected me. Hashtag well PP. So that would be well, P-E-E-P-E-E, -E -P -E -E. well, P-P, -P. hashtag well, P-P, in your comment, and then that's it. You're in the chance to score basically a $200 mod for free, courtesy of Mod Brothers. Massive shout out to you guys. Thank you so very much. And we'll let this thing run for like a week. So next Wednesday, I will announce the winner. Now that cost can come down if you already have a block that you can send to the guy. 190 bucks with the stab wood, $115 without the stab wood. So that's it. That is all that I have for you guys today on the Mod Bros. Onimaru. It's a very, very famous sword in Japanese mythology. It's one of the five heavenly swords. Just a random bit of information there. You're totally unnecessary in this review. But I do know a couple things. I know that you have a chance to win a $200 squonker for free 90 free. I know it's Wednesday, which is hump day, which is always a great day because usually it's a wee Wednesday. Shout out to we, by the way, and thank you everyone for tuning in and around here with my matched up stabilized wood doors button with my armor 1.0 with my purple never normal cap. It is definitely all love, and I'll catch you guys on Friday. That's a hot vape. <laughs>